hi how is it going today video we are going to be looking at how to create you know a jota a better jota in corridor 2021 so without further ado let's step into it so here are the pictures that we are going to make use of and uh, we are definitely going to be creative about it that at the end of the day uh, when we see what we design we'll be happy that we take this step I'm about to reveal to you so the first step right now is to is to map out a background so let's go first change the uh, pay to F5 then you go ahead to your what's it called rectangle tool then you create a box to fill in into the page just like so good so right now what we are going to do is to map out our design so make a copy in word just like so pull it up so right now let's go ahead and uh, locate uh, what's it called helix tool create the perfect circle right there reduce that a little bit then copy to the other side just like so hold ctrl key for a perfect lineup then you right click when you get your destination hold shift key select the other one then you combine ctrl l center it within the uh, objects so make a copy upward pull it upward just like so when you get your destination you right click automatically copy paste then you center it within so what we're gonna do now is to hold shift key select the other one then you combine good so what we are going to be doing now is to hold shift key select the this box in between then you hit on c and e to center it within that then you trim automatically trims good so right now what we are going to do is to make a copy in word just like so oh, make a copy of the object then you center it within the previous one so what we're gonna do is to just you know drag this or uh, better still hit ctrl k to break all the object into pieces then make this bigger a little bit then you go over to this one hit ctrl r then you hit ctrl r and this as well good so select the whole thing hold shift key keyboard select the uh, four object then you hit ctrl l to combine so what we're going to do right now is to hold shift key select the uh, object the main object that we want to trim then you go ahead and hit right here trim automatically trims so let's delete this we don't need that anymore so all we're gonna do is to just let's keep this a gray scale at first then let's right drag this gold color on top of this white you know object beneath then you release your mouse so it pops out uh sub menus asking you what to do next so in this case we are going to use copy our properties automatically automatically it applies to the gold can you see that can decide to adjust the shade of the gold good so right now what we're gonna do is to go ahead and just you know let's bring this object this uh, picture rather convert it to bitmap it's okay so let's park clip that into place clip I just hold control key then you select the object hold key rather so let's adjust that a little bit good so our next step right now is to go ahead and just you know let's park clip this picture into this first object right here good adjust that make it bigger good so park clip this main picture into place 
good let's hold, uh, I drag it on top of it with your mouse asking you what next then you choose back clip automatically snap into the object so good make it bigger a bit good so right now the next step right now is to make a copy of this object in what Downward, then you start the contents. Good. So right click, then you locate, you know, a uh, frame type. Then locate remove frame automatically. If it removes, then let's change the color to this darker blue. Good. So make it a bit smaller. Good. So what we're gonna be doing now is to just uh, let's make this a bit, you know. So make a copy in word just like so. Good. So what we're gonna be doing now is to go ahead and just, you know create an object so we have to really make it perfect right there good so make a copy to the other side I think the best step is to just, you know, let's delete this. We just have to really, let's give it, you know, a half line at first, white. Right, click on white, then you set the outline to white. Hit on F12 on your keyboard, a, a dialog pops up, then you change the thickness to 17. That's too thick. Let's go ahead and make it, you know, 13. Good that's too big as well make it 8 it's okay good so what we're gonna be doing is to go over to object and look at uh, convert our line to object as color changes then we select this so I right, drag this gold on top of the wire release your mouse then you choose copy your properties automatically it, it applies so what we are going to be doing now is to bring in this object on top of this object then you go ahead and uh, convert that to grayscale then you choose your what's it called interactive field to transparency to rather then you go ahead to this place choose subtracts better still let's use a screen apply so I think apply it okay so good so right now what you gonna do is to just back clip it into place then hold the alt key adjust the what's it called the objects so right now what we are going to do is to select these two together group it all up back clip into place then hold out key select the object then you adjust to match just like so good So right now let's bring up uh, the test, the name of the woman. So, so what we're gonna do is to just so we are making use of this, you know, test. Bring it in, then you change it to white. Hold Control, then you tap on page up on your keyboard to bring the test up. 
so let's change the fonts to uh, let's use dry giant So let's break the test into pieces. It's control K to break that into pieces. Then you go ahead. So what I'm gonna do right now is to go ahead and just hit control K. Make this bigger, move that all up, then let's change it to uh, what's it called? Good. So, right now, what you're gonna be doing is to just hit Ctrl K to break it into pieces, then let's bring that closer to each other. Let's bring in this star. So what we're gonna be doing now is to run this star all up around this around this uh what's it called ninety six so make it copy downward good so click once again then you screw just like so right click when you get your destination copy paste then you hold control key then you tap on how you know continuously so automatically it repeats good so what we're gonna be doing now let's reduce this a bit good control G then let's delete Let's just make a circle at the top of the 90, just like so. Let's make it gold. So, copy inward, just like so. Then you go ahead and change that out to blue. Let's sample the color with your color eyedropper tool right here. Click on that, then you sample just like so. Then you point on the objects automatically see the results so what you're gonna be doing is to just make a short you know hearts right there good can you see that so what we're gonna be doing now let's make the glad glad is bigger so let's change it to Hello Paris. I change in the font. good so let's make it bigger let's reduce it 90 a bit 96 a bit then bring this up a little bit so good so what we're gonna be doing now is to go ahead set the outline to white then let's thicken it it's on f12 and that love pops up then let's make the outline to then let's go ahead to object then you locate you know convert outline to object automatically convert then you select that what it all up good change that to gold 
good can you see that good so right now what we're gonna be doing now is to let's just adjust this So let's make it a bit bigger. Good. So what we need to do next is to just create an object right there, change it to blue, then you set it to back just like so. Good. So group all of this together, Ctrl G, set that within the objects. Good. Let you start the beats. Good. Let's give it a darker shade of blue to show a uh, depth. Good. Make a copy outward just like so. Select the center back. Mirror it. Good. Good. Can you see that? We are getting there. Make this a bit, you know, bigger. Good. So make a copy of the object to the back. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, bring in this object make it a bit bigger so in this case we are going to be turning this into black let's try the content or better still let's use the uh, other picture so let's go ahead convert to grayscale so let's back clip this into place good reduce the objects make it bigger a bit then let's go ahead make a copy center to the previous one right click extract the content then let's go ahead and just uh, use your uh, what's it called shape to range from the bottom then you pull that up a little bit just like so let's delete the object in which we extract the content out of can you see the outcome good bring in the star good position that at the center good
so let's type thanks for coming for coming so let's change that to try down good hit control k to break it into pieces then you make this a bit bigger good change to blue putting that all up center it within the objects good can you see that so here we come to the end so I don't forget subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far see you in the next video bye for now